Then gradually we went to the ghetto and uh, and uh, we had to we had to really improvise because we didn't have any furniture. We didn't have any. Uh, we brought some clothes with us, but we could, couldn't schlep any furniture with us. There was no place on that slat for it. And my mother uh, did it beautifully. We lived in one room, of course, and uh, uh, we made out of that one room pretending that we live in a regular apartment. So there was a section for the, for the bedroom, and a section for the living room, and a section for the bathroom, which was really uh, uh, a pail, you know, and a little... Uh, bucket, and uh, uh, and uh, she would she would still uh, uh, set the table. There was nothing, very little to eat there, but she would set the table. Uh, we had forks and knives and old plates, whatever it is, and and she would cook things that are unreal. And she was not the only one, but. Uh, uh, she would make um, uh, rice out of uh, black radish, because there were some vegetables that you could still find. She would make herring out of uh, out of uh, 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 beet red beet leaves. You know, uh, it was all all pretending they would live a normal life. Some people were very optimistic, and some people uh, were very pessimistic. Some people give up, and usually people who give up were the first ones to die. We were, and uh, just to give you an idea of how optimistic we were, uh, uh, mentioned it before about uh, we're taking, we're, we're organizing language courses. And I, with my three years of English, I was the English teacher in that particular course in our factory. Uh, we organize um, uh, theater. Uh, we had an organized theater in the ghetto, an official theater in the ghetto. We also organized um, a theater in in this sector we were in to help the sick people. So whatever money we made on it was given to the given out to help the sick people. A lot of sick people were coming into the factory and they were rather sick. A lot of people were dying there almost every day. I lost a lot of friends, very good friends of mine, who just died, died of hunger and died of disease. Uh, no Germans were coming to the ghetto and shooting people unless they were close to the barbed wire somewhere and some of them for fun or otherwise were shot. But in the ghetto, uh, no. And people lived, again, a very bizarre, normal life. I, uh, I cannot call it normal, and we pretended that the life was normal.